Good afternoon. Welcome to our Kentucky home. So, as I posted in the unboxing video, my wife bought me a new center point amped 425 crossbow. And it came with three bolts. Um, actually, I believe with the With the 100 grain field point in it, it weighs 399.8 grains, so 400 grains. This particular center point carbon arrow. Um, I'm looking for some advice from bow hunters out there, specifically bow hunters that use a crossbow. Um, I've watched a lot of videos. I've, I'm used to using a compound bow. Um, can't draw one very well anymore. And that's why I've been wanting to be able to use a crossbow in here in Kentucky. There's a crossbow season, and um, I'm looking for some advice on quality bolts. I know they say uh, the heavier you go, obviously, um, with a broadhead and an arrow or bolt, um, the better impact and pass through that you get, and and less apt and less, less apt to break limbs and wear and tear on the limbs of these things. They, they, you tend to see a lot of people talk about limbs breaking, that sort of stuff, and, and they say it's because you're shooting too light of arrows most of the time from everything I've read. Um, I'm really, really interested in shooting something in the probably – 425 to 450 grain range they say it, it quiets the bow down even a little bit more when you shoot it and it's it's easier on the parts of the bow the limbs cams that sort of stuff there's there's a lot of companies out there uh, muzzy g5 um uh, a lot of uh, companies that build crossbows also build broadheads, fixed broadheads. I've heard a lot of stories about uh, mechanical broadheads wanting to open when they're coming out of a such a fast uh, crossbow and um, talk about using a, a short fixed blade. Um, what I'm looking for is for some advice from from specific crossbow hunters. If um, anybody has that advice, I have quite a long season. We get um, rifle season ends here in a couple of days, and we're going to start back into bow season, and it goes all the way through mid-January. Um, I'd like to, uh, I'm a little particular, uh, I'm not going to, shoot just anything we have a couple of bucks running around here on the property that that will be nice bucks next year year after but um there are some big ones also and i just want to make sure that i'm using the right equipment uh, I, I haven't even fired this thing yet uh, i'm planning on starting to practice with it actually probably tomorrow or the next day um, but I need to get some heavier field tips, some uh, practice tips, and and get some more bolts. If anybody could leave me comments, information below, that would be uh, that would be fantastic. Uh, just wanted to do a short video on that and try to generate some information. I know there's a lot out out there, and I've watched 
tons and tons of videos, but um, I'd like to hear it firsthand from some hunters that uh, that are getting good quality, humane well, kills, if you would. Um, had another uh, subscriber ask me uh, off of this subject regarding uh, shooting 22s out of a uh, AR platform, a regular AR. And I was going to talk real quick about that. I've had a little bit of experience with it. Um, there's companies out there and I can't, you can't say names and that sort of stuff uh, like that online uh, promoting somebody, but there's companies out there that sell specific uh, 22 long rifle uh, bolt carrier groups and, and magazines. And when you look at those bolt carrier groups they are kind of strange looking, they look like a kind of a standard bolt carrier group. And then they look like they have a 5.56 five, or 223 cartridge on the end of it that's made onto it. Um, and that 22 cartridge is the same diameter, or that 22 long rifle cartridge is the same uh, diameter as a uh, 223 or 5.56. Five, five, so it, it isn't like it's tumbling around the barrel or anything like that. And I just thought I'd address that real quick. Um, I mean, you can get the whole kit, 150, 200 bucks um, online. Uh, delivered. I've, I've never done that because I have, uh, I have several, several 1022s and Marlin 22s. And we practice a lot with those versus the 223556. Um, obviously because of cost. Uh, but it is a good route to take if, if you don't want to uh, actually go out and purchase another gun. Uh, I think uh, I think these things are two hundred and fifty, three hundred dollars now just to get into a, a halfway decent twenty-two. But anyways, back to the crossbow. If anybody has any real good information um, and would like to share it with me, that would be fantastic. Leave your comments. Hope you like this video, and thank you for stopping by our Kentucky home. Um, if you haven't subscribed right there in the corner there's a little subscribe button you can hit that and until next time god bless